The stove is back on in baseball, and it does include our Houston Astros. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host is always Harley Dugan. The Houston Astros seem to be involved again in the MLB offseason, this time with the potential rumored interest of Dalton Varsho, center fielder, outfielder, catcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks. A lot of people kind of went, who? 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 Varsho is an interesting guy. And look, when you look into him, he has an insane 4.9 wins above replacement, which is his war. Very good defensively as a center fielder. He can play both corner positions as well in the outfield. And he is a former catcher. Uh, 5'10", lefty batter. He had 27 pops. The average isn't all exciting. And when you're looking at his numbers, it isn't all exciting. But I will say this. you get in the guy... I'm not saying you're getting a guy. You're potentially looking at a guy that was hitting in Arizona and now hitting at Minute Maid Park. Those two parks completely different. And Varsho enters a lineup where he's not needing to be the guy. And he can come in here, be more comfortable, batting what, seventh, eighth in this lineup? Wherever, like, I, I generally am curious as to where he bats in this lineup. For a guy that had 27 pops, where does he bat in this lineup? He's a very interesting player for the Astros to get. He's under team control for another four more years. Again, lefty batter, that helps the lineup a lot. So, what do the Houston Astros give up? Because a guy that has really good numbers could be better with your team and under control for four more years is going to garner a lot of prospects back for him. And that's what the Diamondbacks want. It is genuinely curious as to see what they are asking for. This is just my proposal. And I'm not saying I do the trade because honestly, I'm not sold on it. I think you got a 162 game season and you need to have a six game, mm, a six man Pitching rotation. I think that's helpful for guys that are going to have a spike in their innings, especially McCullers and Christian Javier and potentially even Hunter Brown and a Luis Garcia. These guys don't have JV. They don't even have a Rizzi anymore. So the spike in innings will go higher. The proposed trade for Dalton Varsho, potentially either one of Luis Garcia, Jose Urquidy, or Hunter Brown. And I know saying Hunter Brown is a hell no. So cross him off the list. I am listening, though, on the Urquidy Garcia deal. And then the inclusion of Pedro Leon has to be thrown in there because Barsho is a young guy. And I can deal with getting rid of Pedro Leon if I'm bringing back a young center fielder under control for four years. Another name you have to throw in there, you got to possibly give him one of these catchers you got. Look at maybe Corey Lee or even Yannier Diaz thrown into that trade. And maybe even one more prospect. You're probably looking at four guys going back for Varsho. This would be a massive trade that I just don't see the Astros actually completing nor actually agreeing to with the Diamondbacks. I can't see it, nor do I really want it to happen. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for the notice to turn on. Drop your comments, your reactions down below in the comment section. Let me know what do you think, guys. Dalton Varsho is a very good player from the Diamondbacks, and I am really interested into seeing what the offer could be. Do I want them to accept it? Hell no, I wouldn't offer it. I'm not giving up one of these starting pitchers. I think they're very viable and key into this year. Varsho is really good, and I think it would be really even better in Minute Maid Park. I just don't see it happening. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.